Hey guys, so this situation with the poop, I mean, I don't know how else to say it, really got me thinking about the butt crack situation and why Magic players kind of are the way they are. Uh, definitely not a great reputation. Um, if you ask your non-Magic friends what they imagine Magic players do, I'm sure pooping their pants is definitely one of them. Now, of course, butt cracks, BuzzFeed, um, a couple million people saw that article. So definitely not a win in Magic the Gathering. At least in my opinion, it's not really a win. Here, like, it's kind of strange. And let me just go about why it is so strange to me. Um, if... I mean, we all are adults here, so if you're ready to poop your pants, wouldn't you know? And if you're sick and you probably, you know, had diarrhea issues before or uh, bowel movements before, you should not be playing magic. And we should not encourage people like this to be playing magic when they are sick and have... I mean, imagine playing your local f and and there's children and things and you poop your pants. And you might be like, oh, that's not realistic. But, like, is it realistic to poop your pants in front of thousands, hundreds, if not thousands of people at a large event that's not even fully magic related? So I completely get um, why he wanted to continue to play. But just out of common decency, I don't think we should encourage uh, this type of behavior. Uh, I mean, we definitely shouldn't um, promote it which is what is being done right now. It's, it's being promoted as if this was something that we should all be very proud of, that he continued to play and then won the game. Uh, and honestly, the fact that they had a new set of pants for him, that's by itself quite astounding, right? Because, like, why would they have new pants for him? Huh. It's almost like they knew he was going to poop his pants. But anyway, back to my point. If you know that you're you're going to poop your pants, you absolutely need to do the right thing, which is concede, move on, and not you know create this environment because we have a very bad reputation already as being unclean, as not wearing belts, and the whole butt crack thing, which was I thought hilarious because they really did address the problem. And hopefully more people have belts now. Uh, I'm, here's the butt crack pictures. <laughs> you could go to any magic event, any magic fest, and you could do exactly what this guy did. I think this was a GP Richmond. But why? Um, why is it this way? Like, why? Why, does ma why do magic players have to be related to butt cracks and pooping their pants? Um, I think it's actually kind of gross and disgusting. And I don't know if anyone would ever, in a professional sense, want to be related to a dude who pooped their pants and states. So I, I get it. I, I get, so there's a few things that I get. Maybe you're sick and, you know, you accidentally, you're trying to fart. Farting is very allowable in Magic the Gathering. I mean... It's just a methane tank of uh, methane. Uh, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to call people cows, but then I realized that would offend some people. And I'm trying to be less offensive now on my channel. But I guess I already. I, so it's a meth, basically a cow pasture of methane in, in terms of how much methane is produced at a local game store. You light a match and boof. So that's why smoking has to be done outside. Or with e-cigs, right? So in my estimation, you know, people are not dressed well. They're not groomed well. And even like people like Reed Duke, they're not, I mean, in any professional setting, even at my small startup company, it would be like, dude, can you wear something that's not, like that's clean and it's not like a hoodie that you haven't washed in eight years? So I'm not trying to say that Magic players are dirty and nasty, but they are dirty and nasty. 
and pooping your pants is just a long lit laundry list of things. You go to your local F and M, it smells, and I mean that's the other problem I had. I operated a Magic the Gathering store. And the smell was just atrocious, and none of my employees could deal with it. None of them wanted to deal. Like, imagine one smelly magic player, but then now imagine 20 of them in a very, very tight space. Uh, now everything smells good because, uh, again, our customer base is 80% female now. And females generally do a much better job cleaning themselves and making sure they shower before heading out. Um, in Magic the Gathering, at one of the pre-releases, they were, there was this group of like five dudes and they would get in a car and they would sleep in the car and they would do midnight pre-releases and just kind of do the gauntlet. Oh no, and they did game days too this way. Tried to win everyone a playmat and it's just so smelly and gross. And um, But I mean, this is a new next level. So number one, I don't understand why you would promote that you pooped your pants because i went on reddit to look at it to see if anyone had noticed this and no no one noticed like it was like dude you got away with it don't mention it please but for uh social clout um he mentioned it it was kind of uh ridiculous honestly that like on people would have forgot it Minus the fact that he mentioned on Twitter and 200 and plus people liked it. And now I'm going to make a bunch of videos on it. So no one's going to forget this. I promise you that. I promise you I'm not going to forget this. You might pick, oh, he's very callous. And, you know, if I was like a white cis male, they would even probably call me racist, right? But I'm Asian. He's Asian. His opponent was Asian. Dude, like if my opponent pooped his pants and it started smelling and I could see, you know, the poop stains... I would forfeit. I would be like, dude, you got me. You got me, dude. <laughs> Congrats. A new technique has been... <laughs> I would just leave. Like, if I was his opponent, and he pooped his pants and continued to play, I mean, at that point, he just deserves to win, right? Like, and I think that's what his opponent did. Like, at some point in time, you're just like, dude, this guy is so much more dedicated than I am. Um, you know what? He deserves to win. Congrats on the win, buddy. And they had new pants for him. <laughs> they had new, It's almost like they predicted this would happen, which is so hilarious if you think about it. Like, it's... Okay, so Magic players, um, and I haven't really dealt with Yu-Gi-Oh! We did carry Yu-Gi-Oh! for about a month, and it was like these, like, starter decks or something like that that was really popular. I don't know, forget what it's called. It's like Quick Match or something like that. And so I haven't really interacted with Yu-Gi-Oh! For uh, Pokemon, it's normally kids. So ki the parents clean the kids, right? Uh, and probably force them to take showers and change clothing. And I mean, everyone is... I mean, they're just children, so they're pretty clean. For the most part. But when you have Magic the Gathering, you have teenagers, you have people who are not children anymore, college students. And it might be in a long time since anyone's done laundry. And the whole butt crack thing where you can buy a belt for 5 to $10, it's not expensive. And um, I don't go out, so like my pants fit me, but I don't go out without a belt because it just doesn't feel right. Like, I, I don't understand um, this whole belt thing either. How, how is it that such a large population of Magic players don't wear a belt when clearly their pants are not fitting? Like, this isn't a new realization. So maybe when you poop your pants, you, you just, it's uncontrollable. But I, I would argue that there are factors that you could control, um, that you knew that you were sick, and you knew what you ate before, and you know that, like, if you're sick, you should not be competing on stage. That's my opinion. You're not Michael Jordan. This isn't the flu game. You're a magic player. So... I don't understand how this can happen that there's so many people who have pooped their pants and so many people who, I mean, uh, how many people in your FNM do you think have stains on their pants? It's just so gross to even think about. But I'm glad that, you know, someone finally came out and, you know, became the champion of uh, this new style. I could be much meaner, but I feel like 
because he's Asian now, let him go. I'm let I'll let him off the hook a little bit more. It's still to me like in completely unacceptable, and I the part that boggles my mind, and this is why I make these. This is why I'm so interested in magic. Is that people are so interesting? Like you got away with it. No one even knew. You you posted on your red thing and you tweeted, and no one knew. And people at the event weren't going to say it, right? Because I think generally it would be quite surprising. And the only reason I know about it, and I'm making a video about it, is because you posted it on your Twitter and someone informed me. Otherwise, you would have been scot-free. So, what the blank just happened there? I think just overall, it's it's very strange that Magic players act and behave this way because it's almost like he is proud that he pooped his pants and won the game. And that's how the tweet comes off, and that's how the response was. Oh, congrats. Look at all these other great athletes, professional athletes who also pooped their pants and won the game. I think there was a marathon runner who pooped his pants and he finished 26. But sometime a reasonable human being will say, I'm sick. I don't want to get my opponent sick. I'm, I'm not going to compete. Right? Plus, this is Magic the Gathering. This isn't... Huh. You should be able to know when you're going to poop your pants. And even if you have to take a game loss, I think it's worth it. Bye, guys.